Hey everybody, it's Blake's Nature Live. I'm headed out to the property. I've been staying busy these last few weeks. Been trying to plant a lot of trees, get the garden ready. Still have some more to do prepping the soil. I hope everybody's doing good. And I know everyone's stressed out, but I hope all these things pass and we just keep positive and things will turn out good near the end. So I'm gonna show you some plants that are putting off all these new leaves different trees I planted and then uh, some graphs that I'll see you I'll probably try to show you the ones out of the property and then I have a lot of that graphs that took into the greenhouse I and mean, that have taken that are in the greenhouse that I might have to show you another time I don't know if I'm gonna edit this video we'll see all right I will see you at the property so we made it to the property so here is my passion vine. This is the purple one that I grew from seed. It was the one that made the fruit, but the fruit didn't make it because it got knocked off too quick on the cold night. So you can see it's pushing out a lot of growth. So this whole little section survived. And then the last two weeks, this is all the results of, uh, of growth. It looks very happy. I fertilized it. Let's look at some other plants. So I put a rootstock persimmon here, a big one. And I'm a multigraph all types of persimmons on these branches these came from another property uh, there's a big tree that was dying and its rootstock pushed out a lot of them. these runner roots they make another trees so these make good for grafting so you can see what I'm doing in the garden right now I'm prepping the beds putting mulch around it putting a lot of nitrogen potassium Using a lot of uh, bone mill, blood mill, and mixture some other stuff. And then in the back, you can see all my collard greens. We'll see them on the other side. So let's walk over here. And I got a little bed going on here that I just planted some cilantro and then some, some beets that I had that were old in that corner. And then some uh, malanga or Malanga. I call it both names. I think it's Malanga. I'm gonna grow some of them in here. That'll help. I put a lot of potassium. Uh, the bone meal really is good for root crops. It makes them, the roots really big. Here's a, a Dundee avocado that's not looking the best, but it's putting off a lot of flowers, but it's putting off new leaves. So if these were to make fruit, I'm gonna knock them off because the tree's too small. I wanted to plant this. I saw it at Walmart a while back and bought it. So I've been getting a lot of mulch from a neighbor. He's been bringing, bringing the mulch over and dropping it for me. So it helps us both out. So we had to tear, we had to knock down a pine tree because it was dying. And I was worried with the limb falling on my head. So we, I'm making use of the, the trunk of it. This is an elderberry from Northern Ridge Nursery. They're coming up. And then I planted some cherimoya that I grafted. This is a honey heart variety and it looks like it took, I had to regraft it because it didn't take and then I redone it again. It looks like it might take and then I had a few other varieties. They're not pushing out yet Till they do I'll tell you the names and I have to rewrite that one up It's almost smudged away and then this one I'm Not pushing out yet Go check out the other ones other plants before it gets too dark It's been crazy lately. How's everybody doing? All right, so look, we have some uh, castor oil beans, or castor oil bean plants. Look at that. That one's growing good. Then I had some jackfruit that I pulled over and only this part survived. And I did the other one the same way. Let's look, let's look what survived in the, the more tropical ones. <clears throat> we got a lime tree. I'm trying to fertilize them. We got to bring him back. We have a, uh, a trifoliate that I'm letting it grow so it will 
so I can graft onto it. And then I grafted a uh, a Harvey lemon. The cool story about these, they they were somewhere in Orlando, and it was in I think the 1980s or 70s. And it was a really hard freeze, and this was the only one that survived. They think it might have been like a seed grown mixed with something else, but it's a true lemon. And it tastes really good so I did some cuttings they do fine from cuttings too but I figured let me just graft one on here and if this if this one does take I might still graft another variety I might make this a multi tree we'll see what I decide all right so the mahogany tree he actually made it he looks beat up but I think he's gonna come back I'll move a lot of these bricks off and stack them uh, my my uh, my papaya didn't make it. He, he may still come back. I need to put him in full sun. I didn't cover him good enough. There's a star fruit from seed. Here's just a regular banana. I don't know what variety it is. I mean, I've had fruits, but they always didn't make it. Here's another, another papayas that were. They seem to be cold hardier, and they also run under the shade cloth. Here's a mango. It was putting off a big shoot. Of new leaf growth and then the caterpillars got to it right now we're having a lot of caterpillar issues and here's the avocado from down south from Marjorie's right, that's my girlfriend her mom and dad's tree that they grew from seed in eight years it made fruit this was doing good I fertilized it so it should start turning darker green it still hasn't it still hasn't kind of woken up yet but I'll move these blocks away and so pretty much this uh, this mango, I'm gonna let it just grow from seed and see what happens, just for fun. I have it halfway in the ground. Here's some here's that long end that I've been trying to bring back, and it's finally pushing off new growth. I didn't have to cover it. So let's keep walking, keep walking. We got some loquats. Same thing happened to them. The caterpillars they went crazy. I planted some more uh, castor bean plants right here. They'll get going soon. We got some milkweed. I grafted this um, from a wild one. I'll see how it does. If it doesn't do good, I'm gonna have some other better varieties that John was showing me. So one of my bamboos took, this came from my papa. He recently passed away, so this means a lot to me that this survived, but he really disliked this one because it was really invasive, so that's why I kept it in a big container and I won't let it get out of control. But here's my pawpaw. It's pushing out. I'm hoping this top part that I grafted pushes, pushes out. They call it mango because it's really nice size. It looks like it is pushing... Hang on, I got lost. Looks like it might be pushing out the top bud. I'll keep checking on it. I hope it does, but it is pushing out from the original one. With Paul Paul's, it doesn't matter where you graft them at. It's not gonna mess up where you graft at. I, I wanted to do the top because they grow slower. That way it had more of a, a height on it. So that's why I did that. So let's check out all the uh, persimmons. Here's a gyro variety that's grafted that John, I bought from John. So. Most of them survived, some didn't. It's okay, I'll get more. And then it goes down many more. I'm having something chew on it. So I'm gonna have to cover all these. If I don't, deers are gonna love them. Okay, so let's go check out my guava. You'll like this. This is my guava I got down south last year. I put it in the ground a few months ago. And the weather did hit it a little bit. But check this out. The new buds are popping out. Its leaves are coming out. So pretty much all this survived. So I'll get a lot of growth this year. And let me check which variety it was. It was the Asian guava. I really like it though. My family liked it. There's another name. So I'm pleased with that. So I planted a... Uh, um, a citrus I never talked to you to you all about the sweet sugar bell and look at all that growth so I'm gonna have to start spraying it soon because of the leaf miners and uh, we're having a there's a citrus butterfly that likes to lay their eggs on here 
I wanted to get it get it growing and keep it going. Um, what else? What else? So the purple, the purple sugar cane's all popping up. I'll keep everyone up to date about it. It's all coming up. A few more keeps on shooting up. Oh, I have bad news about my avocado. It was doing so good. It put on a lot of growth, everybody. A ambrosial beetle got in the middle of it and I kept seeing the top like I was like is it thirsty so I checked the soil and I was like no it can't be that and I looked closer the trunk the middle part of the trunk was black so it cut off all its circulation from the top so I broke it off and I have a new product that I'm gonna show you everybody soon IV organics it's a uh, you you paint it on there and it's gonna protect from rodents burrowing insects and sunburn too believe it or not some trees can get sunburn like avocados when they're babies so I will coat this whole trunk just to protect the graft part and as it gets taller I'll keep protecting it just the beetles are so bad out here it is crazy how bad they are they're destroying our forests and I'm gonna probably have to keep finding different varieties of trees that are more hardier so I have an eucalyptus, if, I can, if I'm saying it right, eucalyptus, eucalyptus. I don't remember what variety it is, but I want to grow one here as a shade tree. Um, something that could be more drought tolerant if things change down the road. To place this tree, because all my, a lot of my trees are being attacked. Even ones deep in the woods are just being attacked by the ambrosial beetles. And I ought to just do a video on the beetles themselves. I've been studying it and believe it or not, Germex attracts them. So here's another persimmon, a gyro. I have a lot of gyros. But I got some other cuttings from uh, cyan wood to use. Here's one of my mulberries. All right, so check out all my fig trees. Look at that. I think it's called a marshmallow. I'm probably calling it the wrong name. I got to look for the name. I've lost the, the tag. We have a Olympian fig that I can't wait to try. Right here is Olympian. See the, the leaf pattern is different. And then I grafted one from my friend's tree. I pruned it a little bit. I want it to be more bushy. Looks like it, it might take. And if it does, I'll just cut all these off and let one be that variety. And then I have this one that did take. So I know for a fact this will take. So as it keeps pushing up more, I'll come through here and just pinch it off and just knock them all the way off. Keep checking. Let's keep going. Now this is a variety I do not know the name of, but it has really tasty like yellow figs. And the insides are a little bit red. So I want to make more of these. But I got them down in Ferndina when I was doing a yard work job. Here's our olives. This is the ones you use for, you know, the oil. And, uh, and they're actually doing really good. I'm really happy with them. Some more, some more, look at that. Oh, there's the, there's my collard greens. Look at them. They're doing really good. We're putting some pipe work in for irrigation. Here's some more. This one's doing really good. Happy with it. And I'll do some more uh, videos on, uh, here's some figs I got from my neighbor. We were pruning his tree. Some will come back. I planted some in the ground. So one part I wanted to show everyone. That I missed was the chestnuts. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, the chestnuts are doing pretty good. Right here, there's one, there's another persimmon, then uh, here's the other one. So, oh here's my longleaf magnolia, I missed this one. No one's got to see it all pretty looking. There you go, showing you everybody just a little bit. I'm going to start putting off some more videos. Oh, I have a terraria tree. I haven't didn't show everybody this. 
you have to look it up to Rhea. They are critically endangered and they have issue with blight and I don't know if this one's already got blight. So it was growing on the top and then the, the growth changed. So I may have to spray some type of uh, organic just to keep it safe. I don't want it to die. I like it. It's near the pawpaw. Looks like I'm gonna cut this video off soon. I'm, I know there's some plants I didn't get to show you from when I got that uh, some different plants from online uh, Ridge Nursery, I believe it was Northern Ridge Nursery. Oh, here's a uh, Anona plant that I got from Nicaragua, and a lot of people can't figure out what it is because it has long, skinny leaves. They might think it might be a uh, I don't remember the name of it, but it has unique leaves. I gave some to John and us to figure out what type it was. It, it looked like a cherimoya, but the leaves are so different. And it actually was pretty cold hardy. Here's a navel, a navel plum that made it through the winter. Oh, let me walk over here real quick and I'll show you all the, there's the bees. I check on them. Oh, we got some new dirt in, some good dirt for the containers and all. So here's all the persimmons that I'm gonna have to try to graft. A lot of these are ready to be graft. Like I said, I have different varieties that I'll graft and put some in the ground and I'll probably repot some in bigger pots. But it does stress them out when they're putting all the, all the juices right now in their trunk. And so a lot of these, these took. So I was happy with these, these beautiful bushes. I gotta plant this one and I have one in the corner that made it. Alright everybody, I will see you soon. Till next time, I'll catch you later.